ठीक है ना प्लीज वॉट वी गेट इज फॉल्स इक्विवलेंसेज दे आर ड्रिवन इन टू योर हेड्स ऑन अ डेली बेसिस सो यू गो अवे फीलिंग पथेटिक फॉर योर सेल्फ व्यू दिस इज अ कंट्री दिस इज अ कंट्री वेर नसीरुद्दीन शाह सेज दैट यू सी मुस्लिम्स प्रैक्टिस अ वेरी डिफरेंट फॉर्म ऑफ इस्लाम वाई simply because viewers hindus are tolerant to allow that because our state provides for that freedom <laughs> whether it is run today by the bjp or the congress or by n number of various coalition governments dr ranganathan would you like to come in yeah thanks very much all i have been waiting very patiently for my turn so may i please request my esteemed panelists to give me a couple of minutes look uh, rahul you mentioned javed akhtar Javed Akhtar Sahab, I respect him. You know, he is a master of similes, but unfortunately, he is a slave of hypocrisy. The reason why he makes this equivalence of RSS with Taliban is because he is embarrassed and ashamed, and he cannot say it publicly that the Taliban are following the real Islam. So he has to draw an equivalence where he can condemn the Taliban for what they are doing, but he cannot say. It. And as far as hypocrisy is concerned, Javed Sahab has taken it to such levels. even he would find it hard to furnish a simile for his achievement let me enlighten you please give me a couple of minutes let me enlighten you on javed akhtar sahab number 1 stands in solidarity with ms hussain never once condemns his portrayal of hindu god but criticizes salman rushdie and his satanic verses and says quote you cannot speak in a derogatory manner write dirty things about those who are revered by billions unto two claims to be an atheist hails faz for his lies जब अर्ज खुदा के काबे से सब बुत उठवाए जाएंगे बस नाम रहेगा अल्लाह का बट नेवर वंस कंडेम्स इकबाल हु सेड कोर्ट द वर्ल्ड शुड बी फर्ज ऑफ इनफिडेलिटी एंड फॉल्स गॉड एंड इस्लाम शुड बी ट्राइम फंड अन कोर्ट नंबर थ्री राइट कॉपियसली ऑन पॉवर्टी कॉल्स इट अ सिन कंडेम्स इन इक्वालिटी दे राइट दो मेक फन ऑफ इट देन गिव्स अ के डिपेक्टिंग अ स्लम विद आई सिंग डिटेलिंग ओपन सीवेज टू इज वाइफ अमिट फैन फेयर एंड मॉकिंग ऑफ द पुअर नंबर फोर कंडेम्स बैन ऑन द वर्क ऑफ ऑल राइटर्स but wants a writer sack because she he sees her poetry in the wake of the azad maidan vandalism as communal five condemns barbarity bigotry religious fanaticism but calls tipu sultan who destroyed thousands of temples churches forcibly converted lakhs of hindus and christians demanded annihilation of infidels calls tipu secular courageous six condemns genocide but praises the genocidal mughals seven Mock conspiracy theories, but campaigns for a man who claims 9/11 was orchestrated by the American government. Eight fight for Dalit rights, but ask people to vote for CPIM, a party that perpetrated the Mari Thapi massacre where 10,000 Dalits were ruthlessly murdered. Nine condemns the jailing of Majnu Sultan Puri, but hails Nehru, the man who jailed him, as a moral giant. Ten cries intolerance and emergency under the BJP, but is totally silent on 12,000 sedition charges and common citizens, arrest of editors, banning of films, filing of FIRs. Jailing of parties under the Congress 11 condemns the Taliban uh, for forcing women to adhere to dress code, but never once condemns the holy verses in the Word of Allah on how a woman should dress 24, 31, 33, 59, on how a wife should behave 434, on when a woman can be flogged 24, 212. That the Taliban are following. Number 12 condemns the fundamentalists when they demand beheading of Kamlesh Tiwari, but never once condemns the holy verse 33, 57 that the fundamentalists are following. Finally, 10 seconds now. जावेद अख्तर को देखा तो ऐसा लगा जैसे छल का नवाब जैसे झूठ की किताब जैसे ढोंग की किरण जैसे अडंबर का वन जैसे कप्तो की बात जैसे पाखंड की रात जैसे जनपथ में हो एक जलता दिया लुक दिस पर्टिकुलर डिबेट विल कैरी 